What is going on, beautiful people of the internet? My name is RC Gaming, but you guys can call me Ryan. And today we are back with more Life is Strange. Sorry it took so long to get another episode out. It turns out that only the first episode comes through, and you have to pay roughly like $15.99 for. The rest, the rest of the game, but I got the rest of the game, and so we are back in it with Life is Strange. And if you guys are excited, then please, please, please make sure you smack that like button and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos or live streams here on the channel. Also, go follow over on my Twitch, I do live streams on there mainly now, but yeah, let's get into the video. So, we're going to be starting on episode 2, Out of Time. <sighs> In the previous episode of Life is Strange... Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Called film Whoa. little pieces what of the time. fuck? <laughs> but he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Don't. Chloe? <laughs> It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max? Tell me everything. Oh, that's sick. Life is Strange is, based, is a story-based game. Ah, yeah, so it's just talking about the butterfly effect again. Snooze. <laughs> Superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. <laughs> the Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Um, I, guess then I, need to leave. I better not leave without my shower supplies. Oh. Where is my shower supplies? Ah, they're all over here. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. 
I love how she refers to herself as Do not as forget Sarah. I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. I think it's this way, isn't it? Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I'm mean. <laughs> I am mean. <laughs> There was no need for that, but... <laughs> hey, it's Kate. Hiya, Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Oh, looks like we're good friends. <laughs> Use the shower. Just go to one COS. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Oh, fuck. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Damn, Looks like bitch. it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway. Let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Yeah, when we do the same, we <laughs> You know we're cleaning that shit up. <laughs> Kate's a friend, now we ain't letting her. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. This action will have consequences. Yeah, who cares? It's the right thing to do. Kate is a friend and we aren't going to let some, some, wait, did someone go through our stuff? Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. Crappy office. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. No book here. Alright. 
Ah, oh, there it is. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Haha. <laughs> Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. There we go. Time travel rules. <laughs> I need to get dressed before I go there. Alright. Get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. <laughs> Comparing ourselves to Einstein, are we, Max? Right, where's... Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. No brook here. That's Victoria's room. Kate's room. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Doesn't sound like you. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. Oh, I thought it was a doctor <laughs> until I heard this? Nathan and I, I, felt a sharp sting in really my neck. For, for and, a long time there, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just and, really intrigued. <laughs> Are you sure? Of course. You think I'm making this crap up. Why? No, I'm just being deductive, as usual. Then what happened? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Oh my god, this is some serious stuff, man. Fuck. So, Max, 
Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? This is an important decision. This is a really important decision. <laughs> Look for proof first. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. All right. All right, I'm going back. I'm going back. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Alright, we have to book back, so... Go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Alright. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. It's fine. It's fine. I felt bad about what I did before and I'm sticking to this choice. Oh. Um... Ah, there we go. Um, see you there. Don't your fingers texting me breakfast? No emoji. <laughs> Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Ah. <sighs> Alright, let's see what the outdoors is, has in store for us. <laughs> oh. It's shift to walk just that little bit faster, isn't it? The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Oh, it's, it's this fella. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. 
How do you know her? Just a pet. An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. Oh. I'll go eat myself. Sorry guys. Sorry about that. Phone fell off. It's alright. Alright. We're back to normal. <laughs> My bad guys. Alright. Um, now I feel bad. Lauren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting. Um, thank you. By the way... Oh, yes you do. I got... You're a real everyday hero. Even though you left me... Chloe cries. An old... I bet you were glad to see her... Um, don't get involved. He's... D Weird fucking week. I'm gonna say yes this time. Yes, that's bad. exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. <sighs> I felt bad about saying no. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Rachel. Was oh, that the missing girl? Headphones on. Exactly what I do when I get on a bus. <laughs> Don't you know that I'm going to be around to guide you through your weakest moments to me? Dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. 
The diner looks exactly the same. But with that, I am going to end the episode here. If you guys enjoyed, then please make sure you smack that mother loving like button and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos or live streams. And until next time, my friends, remember to stay happy, healthy, and beautiful. And I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> Peace out.